Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 1934 Phaeton. This baby is absolutely beautiful. It may actually have the original motor in it too, flathead V8. And that dog, that is one of the original dogs, man. You see it, that tail's not connected to the leg. A lot of guys at a car show will put a dollar bill or a five dollar bill in there just to show off that they got an original dog. Very delicate piece right there. I'm keeping the five. We got great looking stainless here on the headlamps. See the horns are all chromed up. The chrome on the grill looks great. And the paintwork on this thing, look at the reflections in that paint. Just absolutely beautiful. All the pinstripings, sharp, wind wings. Looks like it may have an original windshield in it too. It's got the Ford Motor um, stamp right there, man. Isn't that cool? Last all the way from 1934, so you know this baby wasn't driven very much. Look at the interior. Beautiful. We got one mark in the driver's seat right here that's been repaired. Other than that, that seat doesn't look like it was ever sat in. The door panels are beautiful. And of course, I always pick on the door jams. You guys know that. Look how clean all that is. That's all original looking stuff right there. Now, if you want to check out several pictures of the car with the top up, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We have several pictures of the car with the top up, the top down. Um, just a beautiful machine here. And then uh, take a close look at this dash. That is all painted on to make it look like wood grain. Isn't that amazing? Just absolutely beautiful. Looks like it's got the original windshield wiper pump on here. Of course, those uh, barely worked back in the day. You can see that the um, whole mechanism here has been chromed up. It's showing a little bit of age. Looks like it's got original wood here, which is ultra cool. 1934, baby. All that paintwork all the way around looking sweet. Of course, we got the luggage rack in the back, which is very cool, and the spare tire back here. I mean, just a phenomenal car right here, guys. Can you imagine driving this thing in the 4th of July parade? Man, this thing is sweet. You look down the side of it, man, just straight as an arrow. Now, here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment work whatsoever. So that means we own this vehicle. Right now, we've got a little over 200 cars in stock, and we're buying anywhere between 40 and 50 new units every month. We've got a whole team of buyers travel over the whole United States checking these things out and bringing them in so I can put them in front of you. Now Tom answers his phone 24 hours a day practically and seven days a week. So you can call him anytime and he'll be able to answer any question you have about this vehicle because the one thing that we do do as soon as we get them here is get them up on the lift and we inspect them thoroughly so we can answer every one of your questions. So give us a call at 248-974-9513. All right, 34 Phaeton time. This baby is sweet, guys. All ready to go. Call us, 248-974-9513. Tom will explain to you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway, no matter where you live in the world. Call him anytime. He can tell you all about our financing options. He'll do all the paperwork for you. You don't have to do a thing, but make that phone call. I tell you what, this thing is just driving phenomenal. Now we're gonna do something that nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put this beauty up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side of the car is. I tell you what, the bottom looks just as nice as the top. It's an amazing build. 
Very well kept throughout the years. Tons of original parts. Everything you want to see. You look down here on the dash. The Speedo's working. The gas gauge is working. And the paintwork looking sweet. Even the horn's working, guys. So give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. He'll explain just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. We're headed back to the shop now. Now we're buying about 40 new cars every month. So keep an eye on us. We've always got new inventory coming in. Tell you, going through the gears in this baby, bringing back memories. It's like driving the old, uh, my grandpa had an old pickup truck that was similar to this. We had a blast in that when I was a kid. It said that's what all these cars are about, memories. This thing is a piece of history. Get this baby in second gear, get around the corner. We're going to head back to the shop right now where we're going to put it up on the lift so you can check it all out on the bottom side. So give Tom a call anytime. He's answering his phone 24 hours a day practically, seven days a week. If that man's awake, he's answering his phone. So stick with us. We're going to put it up in the air for you right now. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 34 Phaeton. Um, now, as you can see, I believe this gas tank is more than likely the original tank for the uh, car. It's just more or less been cleaned up. Um, moving forward of that, uh, leaf spring pack here. You can see it does look like it has a new wiring harness under here, but it is the uh, correct style of wiring harness, which would have like the cloth style insulation. However, inside of all of that cloth insulation is a modern silicone wire, you know, a modern silicone insulated wire. So this is more or less just to look cool, but you have the added uh, benefit of the you know, more modern style wire. Um, another cool thing this thing has is it has a, a modern set of, set of shocks on it, more or less. You know, the original type shocks would have been like that uh, cast iron uh, lever set up on it. So that is another a little more modern upgrade. Speaking of modern upgrades, we do have uh, hydraulic brakes on this one. Now, this is a uh, aftermarket kit, aftermarket backing plate and all. So it is not like 30s Ford brakes. This is something a more, little more uh, conventional. Uh, looks like the lines pretty well belt or bent. Excuse me. It looks like it uh, actually looks to be a kit as uh, well, because judging by all the bends and whatnot, it looks to be a fairly well designed kit, if I will say. Uh, parking brake hooked up. It is there. Um, see here, we got our fuel line over here and our vapor tube for our fuel, uh, I guess, uh, fuel gauge. This has actually been replaced. Um, so your fuel, you know, that was actually necessary to replace for your fuel gauge to be functional, and it is functional. Um, floor pans, looks like it does have some floor pan worth, but both uh, sides over here look like they have been replaced. Original part of the pan here. Moving forward of all of that, here is our master cylinder here for our hydraulic brake conversion. Nice, uh, pretty decent look at bracket. Looks like it's uh, all bolted in the frame here. Once again, looks like it's part of a kit. 12 volt battery, this thing has been 12 volt converted. Um, now the 12 volt conversion was done with uh, 1960s Ford parts. So it is a 1960s style uh, generator and a voltage regulator up under the dash, very neatly done. Moving forward of that, we can see that we have our uh, original transmission here, which would be just a three-speed top loader, which, which is what all these came with. Everything is nice and greasable on this one. I've actually greased it all for you guys already, so that's good. Fresh oil change on it. This is the underside of our 1934 Ford Flathead. Um, now we can tell by uh, another good giveaway for a 34 is that there is no vent over here on this side of the, other than the shape of the oil pan there is a no vent over here on this side here 35 was the first year for that this one is a 34 correct engine moving forward of all of that looks like uh, just normal front axle on this thing everything greasable kingpins everything has been greased leaf spring pack looking good and uh, once again modern style shocks here in the front um, hydraulic brakes here in the front as well. Once again, this is a, a more modern style kit, which so uses a little more conventional parts. Bias ply tires on it, wide whites, just as it should be. Color matched wire spoke wheels. Uh, good looking V8 emblem on there. Moving forward of all of this, running board looks like it's in really nice shape. Fenders as well. All of it doesn't look like it's ever been crunched or hit anything. Of course, the rubber's all been replaced. Underside of the floorboards look really, really nice. All the bracings look good. All right, guys, so the wheel well up in here, if you look, Absolutely beautiful. Looks like the same quality of paint as on the outside of the car all the way up into here, which is once again just kind of a, a testament to the quality of the restoration of this one. 
Looks like all of its bracing and stuff is all there for like even like they had like uh, covers and stuff like that to keep your wiring and all that stuff safe, which is cool. Um, it's all still there. Uh, wide whites on the back, wire wheels painted to uh, match the actual car, and a V8 emblem here on the uh, center cap. So, that all being said, let's go take a look at the 1934 Flathead V8. All right, guys, this is underneath the bonnet of our 34 Phaeton. So, uh, first thing I'll point out here is that we do have a brand new set of spark plug wires on it we put on there for you. It um, does have a 12-volt coil, but it actually is, uh, that coil was actually built for this car. It actually is a 12-volt coil inside of a 6-volt can. We actually had a guy make it for us, which is really, really cool. Of course, the inside of the distributor is all nice and clean. All your points have been set. Uh, brand new belt on it as well. Now, here's the generator that I spoke about here. You can't even tell that anything's really been done on it, but this is actually a 1960s Ford generator, um, all kind of bolted up to the uh, original type brackets. And you really can't, you, know, you just can't tell that it actually is a 12-volt uh, converted car just by looking at this here. Um, of course, you know, it's missing. For the really savvy observers will notice that it's missing its uh, voltage regulator, or basically just an on-off switch here, but it's all up underneath the dash, hidden away very nicely. Wiring is very neat. So this is an 85 horse model flathead V8, uh, 21, or excuse me, yeah, 21 studs. Um, so this is 1934 correct. Everything about this is 1934 correct passenger car, 85 horse. Um, another cool thing here, it looks like it's got its original uh, fuel pump in, in here, not uh, no um, electronic stuff or anything like that. It works just great. Um, original type carburetor on here. I think this would be a Stromberg two barrel here. Uh, Looks like the original type air cleaner on it as well. All, once again, all of the wiring. This has all been replaced. However, it has been replaced with a, like a slightly more modified or excuse me, more modern uh, wiring harness. So inside of all of this is actually um, going to be a silicone uh, covered wire. Do have a fuel filter on it here that's been added for you guys. Like I said, underneath, fresh change of oil for you. All of the hoses look like they're brand new as well. Overall, pretty nice build on this one. You can see here all of this, uh, like your, um, Firewall has all been done up real nice for you. Aluminum heads look great. And overall, pretty darn sweet. It drives even better. Guys, call us. 303-257-1111.